there, my name's Michelle. I'm from the Green Hop Gormley store and here with me today is Willow. We're at Wickerwood Farms in Uxbridge. Today we're going to be talking to you about trailering, how to get ready for your big trip, and how to dress up your horse for the day as well. Okay, so the first thing you want to start with is protecting your horse's legs. Today Willow is wearing our full coverage shipping boots. These are the fronts and as you can see, these are the backs. They are a 1200 Danier, they're, they have fleece lining and they're very breathable. As you can see, they have big Velcro straps which are easy to maneuver. And then as you can see back here, it comes up higher so it covers uh, a bit more for hawk and it adds more protection. In my hand here I have the deluxe shipping boots and they come in a 600 Danier. Uh, you can see that the Velcro, uh, the straps are different but also inside it's fleece lined and it's very durable. So the two that I just showed you come with fronts and backs. Unfortunately, they only come in horse size. But Another protection that you can use for your horse's legs are uh, standing bandages and wraps. So what Willow's wearing today are the Shedro Novos. As you can see on the front and the back, they come in a variety of sizes. So we have 10 inch, 12 inch, 14 inch, 16 inch, and 18 inch. They're foam filled and they shape and mold nicely to your horse's legs. Over top we have the Shed Row Standing Bandage. This comes in a variety of colors and it comes in pony and horse sizes as well. Another option that people like to use on their horses is bell boots. It just adds a little bit more protection if your horse is going to overreach or move around a lot. So you just want to, you can put them on. You want to put them on first and then you want to put on your standing bandage and your no-goes on top of that. Some more items that you can use for when you're shipping are a lead rope, which is a must. You always want to make sure that your lead rope is very sturdy. You can use leather with a chain, leather without, poly cotton or cotton with or without chains. Next on Willow we have here is a leather halter and on top of her head is what we call a bumper. And the purpose of the bumper is it's going to protect her head in case she lifts up her head and hits her head against the ceiling. It also can help prevent any cuts or anything. They come in one size and we carry them in leather that have fleece lining or just a neoprene as well. The last item we have to show you today is a tail wrap. Willow is wearing a blue one and it also comes in other colors as well. The purpose of the tail wrap is it's going to protect the bone of her tail as well as if you've braided your horse it'll help protect the braid as well as any breakage of the hair. Here we are inside a trailer and we're just going to go over some of the items that you're going to need for your trip. So here we have, it's called a Supra Hay Bale Bag. It can actually fit a full square bale in it. It's got a zipper to close it in and it has handles for carrying so it's really easy and accessible. So you're going to want to bring um, a bale of hay obviously. It's good to have a couple just in case. So you have the bag and then here we have a couple different hay nets that we carry. This is called um, a small hole hay net and it's good for to keep your, to slow your horses down from eating too fast. This comes in a couple different colors and this here is just a nylon um, hay net and it has bigger holes so it's more accessible for the horses to eat. Here we have a nylon hay bag. You can fit a few flakes in here. It's easy to fill and it's really easy to hang. It has a big hole right here for your horses to eat out of. A couple uh, clips and snaps that you're going to need for these is, of course, double-ended snaps to tie them up onto the trailer. And then for the hay bag, you can use a rope snap. Okay, so now we're just going to talk about trailer ties. We have two here today to show you. This is a bungee trailer tie, and this is your standard trailer tie. So the difference between the two, uh, the bungee trailer tie comes in a cord like and the standard trailer tie is nylon and it's black. The trailer tie is adjustable whereas the bungee isn't. So they both have uh, the bull snaps on the end to attach to the trailer wall and they both have the panic snap on the other end and this is what's going to attach to your horse's halter. The purpose of the panic snap is that if your horse pulls away it's just going to give just like that and then break free. 
So a few more items that you want to have on hand uh, for your day of trailering is pitchfork to clean up your mess, a broom to sweep up the mess. You also should have um, a few extra water buckets on hand as well as some extra snaps. Jugs of water are good um, as well as a few extra bales of hay is always an essential to have. Before trailering, it's very important to do a safety check on your truck and trailer. All of the items that you've seen that we've used in this video today can be purchased at your local Greenhawk as well as online. Happy trailering!